Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we have an update on that situation with the John Cena Warner Brothers uh, Coyote movie. Um, Coyote versus Acme. Mm -hmm. Wiley Coyote versus Acme. And uh, apparently they're going to be given the opportunity to find a new home for it because of the uh, backlash. Yeah, originally they were just going to do what they did, the Batgirl. And yeah. now, now they're going to allow it to be shipped around. So we'll, uh, around. yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. Cause there, there's some weird stuff going on with Warner brothers, uh, always. And it does seem like they're open to allowing their IP to be on other platforms. They just released a trailer today for Mary, oh, little, God. Mary, little Batman. Cause I'll watch it. I'm not gonna watch. I, I did watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest here. And some people are going to jump me for this for what it is. Okay. It's obviously this is not a mainline Batman anything. For what it is, it actually looks kind of cute. I didn't it, watch it. And it I'm does not look kind of cute, and it looks like Chowder. And uh, I love Chowder, so I might be a little bit biased. But that's I mean, not Batman. You it's know what not, I'm saying? It's not. It's not Batman. I just, I, you can watch it. I have zero desire. Knock it just, yourself out. This is for the same the same family crowd that plays Lego Batman games. That's that's basically I just, what this is. Nope, for. pass. You can watch okay, it though. Okay, that's fine. But uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. So they are receptive to shopping stuff around. And uh, I have to wonder if, if at some point Warners won't just be like, yeah, we're just a content producer. We're not going to have our own streaming platform. We're not going to. No, they already put too much money and time into it. They're not going to do that. I don't know. So let us talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, my aunt wasn't very enthusiastic. All right, woo -hoo. Woo. I'm sorry, I was thinking about Batman. And you're like, woohoo. Yeah, that's what I think about that show. <laughs> bah humbug. I don't want to watch a stupid Batman cartoon. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. We are funded, so these books are going to happen, but they're not going to happen until next year. So just so you know, uh, this is Shadowbinders Volume 3 hardcover. Uh, we still have some hardcovers left of Volumes 1 and 2. And uh, thank you so much for the support, guys. You have eight days. Eight days. Thank you. Thank you. So let's talk about this. Yeah, so Warner Brothers has been gutting cartoon shows. They've been gutting movies. Basically, whatever they can take a write down on. And this thing was basically done, this Coyote versus Acme, where I guess Wiley Coyote is suing Acme for faulty products. Yeah, which I think is funny. It was actually a, like, a, a comic they did, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's actually really funny. I thought, because every time he uses something from Acme, it fails. So, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, yeah, so it, it's a funny premise. It sounds better than the last Space Jam movie. And it was supposed to be a Batman cartoon. <laughs> It was supposed to be pretty good. And yeah, so that's just it. Everybody who's seen it said it was amazing. They yeah. said it was one of the best animated things they've seen in a long Since time. Since Roger Rabbit, they said right, it was actually yeah. very, very good. And, um, you know, this is coming after. They've, they've done several other Warner Brothers, uh, you know, live action movies. What was what was the one with the Brendan Fraser um, back in action? Oh, yeah. That, yeah, they did oh, that. Oh, about that one. Yeah, and two, two Space Jam movies. And they said this one's actually, like, the best thing since Roger Rabbit. And... Um, it looks like they're reversing course. So Warner Brothers reverses course on Coyote versus Acme after filmmakers rebel. Uh, I don't know how you see the movie and then go, that couldn't happen to me. Well, um, it keeps happening to a lot of people. So Yeah, there were other movies that were. Now, Batgirl, you know, we heard was pretty terrible. Uh, Scoob, I, I don't know. That was another one that was almost done. And they canceled that one, too. But they said that they're going to shop it out to potential buyers Instead of shelving the project for a tax write-off, Hollywood sell the backlash. Yeah, Amazon said to be a contender in the mix. While Amazon is already doing the Batman mm -hmm. uh, specials, so you know, yeah. for better or for worse, uh, screenings for for uh, potential buyers are taking place this month. Puck was first to report the news. On Someone's reversal. gonna pick it up because there's been so much coverage on the news and so much backlash from the public about it that someone will pick it up because it'll be like people really want to see this. And then people are gonna go just because they want to see it, because they're gonna see why was it shelved, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, whoever picks it up is gonna be smart because people are gonna want to see it. Yeah. So they said this is a little bit different than Batgirl and Scoop. They said those were positioned as a one-off change in strategy and it was never going to happen again because they were designed, I guess, for HBO Max. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, we're not going to do that. According to sources, after the Coyote versus Acme news broke last week, several filmmakers instructed reps to cancel meetings they had on the books with Warners. Oh, but, probably because they're afraid what they're going to do to our films, too. Yeah. But now that Coyote may ultimately find a new home, these filmmakers are taking a wait-and-see approach. Unlike the other films that Warner Brothers has canceled, Coyote vs. Acme was fully completed and had tested multiple times in the 90s. 
So but it's only been nineteen nineties. It means the testing. The testing was yeah. good. Everybody who saw the movie, and there were people that spoke up and said they saw the movie, and I said this thing is freaking hilarious. It's one of the best things that that's been done with the Looney Tune characters in decades. And why the hell of all this stuff? Like you're trying to put Looney Tunes back on the map. Why would you cancel this? Well, they said to compare it, Argo, Deadpool movies, and The Conjuring all tested in the nineties. Yeah. You know, there and then the one one best picture. So they said it had been pretty good. Yeah, so they said it's a it's a popcorn style crowd pleaser, and uh, you know the last Space Jam did not do that well. People just want popcorn style crowd pleasers. They're tired of having to think. They're tired of being lectured to. They just want to go watch a funny a funny story and just have fun. Yeah, um, this person, this is a writer director uh, Ben David Grabinski, who worked on uh, Happily, said that. It's the best of its kind since Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The leads are super, super likable. It's beautifully shot. The animation is great. The ending makes everyone effing cry. I thought the goal of this business was to make hit movies. You know, that's what we thought, too. You think that that's what the goal of it was, but it's like these studios are going out of their way to be, what's the dumbest thing we can do? Let's do that. So now this is funny. They talk about Batgirl. They said it was a one-off, and they said that their job was to protect the DC brand. Well, you did a great job there. <laughs> so we saw The Flash the other night. I knew you were going to um, go there. And I, I put off watching The Flash. Now, I've heard mixed things from people about The Flash, and I'll be honest, I did not expect to have the visceral negative reaction to the movie that I did. I thought it was going to be a meh, because Blue Beetle was okay. You know, I thought Blue Beetle was all right. It wasn't the best thing ever, but mm -hmm. it definitely wasn't the worst thing ever. The Flash is one of the worst things I've ever seen. I mean, it's just on it every level. It was the babies just... thing. I was like, when you started off with that, I was like, this is awful. <laughs> it's raining babies, babies in microwaves. It was even animated well. It was just, it was just... It was, it was like watching the baby, the dancing baby from Ally McBeal, like a whole bunch of them just kind of falling out of the it was, sky. It was not... And then we have like... That, that wasn't it. No, that wasn't it. And then we've got uh, Ezra Miller basically playing themselves uh, and just bantering and stupid shit. Like I called out who the bad guy was. Oh yeah. I called that out. I was like, Oh, that's just him. Yeah. And then and it was, <laughs> and then <laughs> like, freaking freaking wonder woman uses the lasso of truth on Batman. And he has to go on about his daddy issues and compensating with it. Right. Then, oh yeah. The flash is like, I never had sex. Yeah. Like what the hell is that? And there were dick jokes in there. It was clearly like, written by a dude who thought they were funny. It, it was not. I mean, uh, well, if it was a woman, I apologize. You, then you're not funny either. But then we get, uh, we get Michael Keaton's Batman. So if you like take all of the Ezra Miller, bullshit out of the movie and give me like 10 minutes of, of Michael Keaton, Batman, you know, just as like, you know, some nostalgia, I would have been okay with that. Now he was supposed to be in the Batgirl movie too, which, yeah, you know, but I'm just like, Oh yeah. You had Michael Keaton, Batman, you had the sets, you had the nostalgia. All you had to do was make a Batman beyond movie. The only reason any sane person paid money to go see this movie was because they wanted to see Michael Keaton, Batman. Mm -hmm. that's it so just give him a whole movie of michael keaton batman that's all you had to do don't do batgirl don't do flash just it's batman beyond or dark knight returns or something with michael keaton batman that's all you had to do mm -hmm. and it would have been money in the bank but no they have to protect the brand by releasing the flash and uh <laughs> canceling batgirl yeah i know right they could have canceled them both called it a day so batgirl was the bad one of the two the how bad was batgirl how bad was batgirl Anyway, let's talk about uh, Coyote versus Acme. They said that, uh, yeah, they said that Green's industry friends mobilized to pre prevent that kind of messaging from tainting the reputation of Coyote versus Acme. Um, there's a planned funeral screening this week on the Warner's lot, according to sources, though funeral is no longer an apt term for a project that may find new life. And I think it will. I really think, well, one, if it's as good as they say, and two, uh, just because of the of the public reception and like the, the media stories and the public awareness, someone's going to pick it up because it's already got to build an audience just from that. Yeah. This is like a pretty new, like before, if a movie got shelved before, okay, it wasn't necessarily for tax reasons. It was because it was like an abysmal movie or something happened during production or, you know, um, and now it's just like, oh yeah, okay. It's, we're just going to shelve it because, you know, tax write off. You know what I'm saying? Like it used to be these movies, the reason you never saw them was they were so god awful that they wouldn't even going to release. It doesn't sound like that's release. the case. And instead no. they released the god awful ones. They so released I the god awful movies and they, they try to hide Coyote versus Acme. So they said that the decision followed the industry taking a hard turn from a streaming boom golden age for like two years. 
I saw studios uh, showing out unprecedented billions on content. Um, some saw Warner's bottom line ruthlessness as a, less of a new way of mistreating talent than return to how Hollywood used to be. So they're saying that basically Hollywood's going to go back to trying to make money. And it doesn't matter how good, how, luck. How good a movie is, how good something is. Uh, if it's not going to make money, they don't think it's going to make money. <laughs> so unless you're Disney, then you can see double, triple down the live action remakes. Keep right, losing right. money. So um, there it is, guys. It looks like this thing will probably get it home. I, I'm going to. I'm going to take a pretty safe bet and say Amazon uh, will probably pick it up. If they're picking this thing up, uh, Merry Little Batman, then uh, they're definitely I just definitely be open to picking up something that was uh, critically lauded, right? Oh, that lo- <laughs> art looks amazing. I, I know. It's actually kind of funny. Not I'm, not it's kind not of for funny. me. It's kind of funny. It looks you like You can watch it. I'm not stopping you. You can like, like what you like and I'll like what I like and call it a day. Schoolhouse Rock or something. It looks like chowder. <sighs> But, you can uh, like what you like, and I'll like what I like, and we'll call it a day. Okay, that's that's how it works. That's how it works. Are we going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.